he marched assuredly into Understone Keep. Confident that years of distinguished service in the Great War would merit a hero's welcome. He was a nobleman, the younger brother of the Jarl no less, and could have easily avoided the fighting had he chosen to do so. But he had used his experience of hunting in the woodland around Markarth on the battlefield and was a bowman, credited with several high-profile military assassinations against the Albemarle Dominion. His older brother was sombre. The duty of Jarl looked heavy upon his weary shoulders. Throughout the reunion, he looked increasingly anxious and more than a little sad, and then he steeled himself. You won't have heard on the way home, but there was an incident here not two weeks ago. The Dominion came to clamp down on Talos worship, and they are here in the keep. I broke the Concord app for the good of our people, but now the Dominion want an assurance that this will not happen again. In short, they want you. As he spoke the last word, the realisation hit the younger brother like a wave. He knew then that the Thamor were there to claim him. Drawing his sword swiftly, he wasted no time and sprinted from the chamber, cutting down two Thalmor agents who were in his path. Pursued by the guards, whose respect he had once commanded, he fled through the city streets, spurred on by the chime of arrows as they struck stone behind him. Fleeing through the gates, he stole a horse and escaped into the wilderness. And this is where our story begins. So this series idea is inspired by, I think, what was the second build on my channel, which was a Robin Hood build. And it got me to thinking, how would Robin Hood work within within the confines of Skyrim. So this series is essentially going to be a survival mode series as soon as we've got past this opening story I'm going to switch survival mode on and from there on this is going to be a survival series and it's going to fundamentally be using the guild starter mod, the link of which I'm going to put in the description below, whereby you can start your own guild and I'm essentially going to be Robin Hood starting my own band of merry men. Markarth is an incredibly corrupt city with, um, as is often said, it is blood and silver that runs through Markarth. And it's going to be my goal to try and break that corruption of the Silver of Blood family and the stranglehold that they hold on Markarth. As we're interrupted here by a Bothia cultist, which we're going to dispatch him. And he's killed my horse, which is very annoying. But now we're going to take him down. There we go. I'm going to go through my list of equipment and armor in a following video, as well as the level that I'm using for this character and also the skills which he possesses. I may or may not do a build video on this later this week. In terms of this being a survival playthrough, now that we've escaped from Markarth, and had to sadly leave behind our previous life as a nobleman. Our first, um, we're going to basically have to accomplish finding um, a measure of shelter. We're going to have to deal with the fact that there'll be a bounty on our head in Markarth. I, I fear the only way we're going to be able to do this is if we, um, is if we go back to Markarth and indeed serve a prison sentence. But what we're doing here is we're just, um, we've encountered, we've encountered some force one. So now we're just basically taking them out because there may be a camp ahead and a camp this close to Markarth would be ideal to be a center of our operations as he does a triple combo attack there that really, really wasn't anywhere near me, so we're just going to use this opportunity to take him out and go and have a little look at what we have up here. So sadly, as we can see from our map, this doesn't actually look like it's a marker the map. I don't know if we can therefore use this as our encampment. It's also a little bit small. I do have a plan for 
how I'm going to start my fight against corruption in Markarth, which follows I want to use to start my band of Merry Men, and how we can take the fight to the Silverblood family. However, um, I will go through that in the second episode. Right now, the important thing is, is we've just escaped from Markarth. And our goal is to establish a base of operations. We know now that we can't go back to our former life as a nobleman. That life is closed off against us. However, growing up in a position of wealth in Markarth, we've been privy to a lot of the corruption. We've been privy to a large amount of the corruption. We've seen money change hands between the ruling class and the richest families. And we've seen how the downtrodden are treated. So it's time to use the skills I've practiced in the war to put that to good use and to start, if you will, a crusade of the sorts. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Sorry my commentary was maybe a bit rusty. Um, I'm not used to commentating on anything that isn't a build, quite frankly, and I will go back to builds very soon. But I just thought I'd introduce this project to you as something that I'll be working on over the next couple of weeks, and hopefully you enjoy very much. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another video.